And on parole is in custody and two other people could face charges in connection with a deadly crash in Saginaw County. The crash happened in Saginaw Township and a 37 year old woman died from her injuries. Let's get right to our Terry Camp and Terry, the woman who police believe caused the crash actually fled the scene. Yes, but instead of driving away, she hopped in another vehicle that had been following her pickup truck. Two other people may also face charges in this case. It was around 5.30 in the afternoon on Saturday when police were called to the intersection of Titabawasi and Hospital Roads in Saginaw Township. Police say a vehicle being driven by 37-year-old Melissa Wood was driving north on hospital and turning onto Titabawasi when her Malibu was hit by a pickup truck that went through the red light. Wood was badly injured, rushed to a hospital, but she died from her injuries. Investigators say a 44-year-old woman was driving the pickup truck, and after the crash, she and a passenger in the pickup got into a Pontiac G6 that had been following the pickup and drove off. About an hour later, police in Bay City received information that a man who was in the pickup truck and was injured returned to Bay City and he was questioned by police. The search for the driver of the pickup truck continued in Gratia County, where police there were on the lookout for that Pontiac G6. They, they did ask if you could check also 46 between St. Louis and she may be heading eastbound towards Breckenridge. Police in Alma made a traffic stop, which eventually resulted in the arrest of the driver of the pickup truck. The woman is from St. Louis, and according to Michigan Department of Corrections records, she was granted parole in January. She has several felony convictions on her record and was most recently sentenced to 19 months to 20 years in prison on a conviction of possessing methamphetamine. She is in the Saginaw County Jail, but has not been arraigned as of yet. Yeah, we are not identifying the suspect since she has not been arraigned. It's possible she could be formally charged tomorrow, and it's also possible that two people that left the scene with her could face charges as well.